Hello, I'm Mike Hayes, back with some more ideas on how to apply the Barry Harris method to music that we play every day. In this video, the focus is on walking chords and walking bass parts. And you'll hear this style of playing in the guitar work of Freddie Green, Herb Ellis and Bucky Pizzarelli, and of course, in gypsy jazz music. I do hope you get a lot out of this video. Let's get started, there's heaps to do today. First up in today's session, we'll show you the basic concepts of how we're converting the Barry Harris scales into walking chords and bass lines. And then we'll show you some practical applications of how you'd apply these walking chords to a well-known chord progression. We'll begin with a G minor sixth diminished scale. Here's how that scale sounds when it's played on the first string. And now here's a harmonised version of that same scale. Remember when these scales are harmonised, they only produce two chords. And in this instance, the two chords are G minor 6, alternating with an F sharp diminished. Right then, this is where the fun starts. Since both the first string and the sixth string are both E's, only two octaves apart, I'm going to take the note on the first string in each one of these chords and move it from the first string over to string six. These particular voicings tend to be quite cumbersome and have quite a dense sound, and we won't be using them in the musical examples later on in the video. I'm simply presenting them so you can understand the process of how we arrive at the walking chords. Having said that, let's have a listen to how they sound and a look at the chord shapes that are produced. Our next step will be to play these chords as incomplete voicings. In other words, we're going to leave out the note on the second string. So each one of these chords now will be played as a three note chord. Let's have a listen. Okay, so now we're up and running and it's time to apply this style of thinking to tunes that we play every day. The chord progression I'll be using is the bridge of I Got Rhythm and you'll see that chord progression on the screen. And we'll be following the same process that we just did for G minor 6. That is, we'll be playing the relevant scale for each chord, then harmonising the scale and then moving the top note for each chord over to string 6. And then the all important thing is we have to work out how to connect each one of these chords so it doesn't just sound like an exercise. But first let's run through the D7 diminished scale. Here's 
is a harmonised version of that scale. Next up, I'm going to play those chords as three note chords on the third, fourth and sixth strings. If we check out our chord progression, we'll see that we have two bars of D7. And the way I'm going to connect the D7 to the G7 is that I can play a chord a semitone lower or higher than my target chord. And in this instance, my target chord is G7. So for this first example, I'll be playing a descending version of our D7 diminished scale. And then I'll be connecting to the G7 chord by playing a G flat 7th. Here's the same walking bass, only this time I'm going to connect to the G7 by playing an A flat 7. Then moving on to the G seventh, so we'll begin by playing a G seventh diminished scale. Here's the harmonized version of the G seven diminished scale. Here's the three note version of the G seventh diminished scale. This time I'm playing it in an ascending fashion, and the connecting chord that I'll be using to link the G seventh chord to the C seventh chord, which is the next chord in the progression will be D flat 7. Let's have a listen. Right then, on to the C7 chord. And you know the drill by now, we're going to begin with the C7 diminished scale. Here's the harmonised version of that scale. And now here's a three note descending version of the C7 diminished scale and I'm using G flat 7 as my connecting chord to F7 which is the next chord in the progression. Next chord is F7, so let's begin with the F7 diminished scale.
And here's the harmonised version of that scale. And now the three note version. Let's put the whole progression together. This time we're playing at a metronome tempo of 100. Let's try that progression again, only this time a little bit faster, at metronome 120. Well, that's it for today, folks. I do hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I hope there's something in this lesson that'll help you develop your own musical style on guitar. If you enjoyed this session and felt you got some value out of it and you'd like to support this channel, there's a link in the description below this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the good stuff. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like. It really helps us out. Until next time, all the very best with your guitar playing. Bye for now.